As is the case the world over, the physical adaptations of the flora and fauna are often representative of the environment they inhabit. We have learned that many arid adapted plants have lost the large leaves of their temperate cousins. However, there is a plant endemic to the Namad that defies the ordinary. It is so unusual, yet perfectly adapted. Vorwichia mirabilis, a true living fossil. The interesting thing about Velvichia is that uh, the leaves seem to break the rules for what we would predict leaf sizes of plants in an environment like this to be. So uh, there's quite a bit of uh, work been done to predict the relationship between environment and leaf size. And one of the uh, conclusions from that work is that if you have a plant that's in a hot, sunny environment, that plant should produce leaves that are small numerous and narrow, uh, and here's Velvichia, it breaks the rules. These large leaves, uh, when you're dealing with a, a healthy, intact plant, provides an enormous uh, patch of shade and shelter underneath them, and this is a phenomenon that's called uh, niche construction. It's a, an organism actually building an environment in another environment. So you have these patches of shadiness and, and relatively cool temperatures under the canopy of the uh, Velvichia leaf. And this might not only help the Velvichia, for example, cooler temperatures will result in higher humidity. That'll mean less demand for water uh, on, on these plants to do what they need to do but it can also provide a shelter for other organisms that live around the Velvichia. And uh, this is a relatively unexplored area. And it's, in part, it's because niche construction is a relatively new way of thinking about adaptation and evolution. And uh, this may be why Velvichia leaves break the rules. The evolution of the angiosperms, the flowering plants, took place at the beginning of the Mesozoic period, some 250 million years ago. This period was when the amphibian's dominance of the Earth started to fade and the reptiles began to emerge. About a third of the way through the Mesozoic, the dinosaurs began to emerge, and it is widely believed that Velvichia came into existence around this time. They emerged first that we know from fossil evidence around about 200 million years ago. We believe that it was about 200 million years ago. They found Velvichia fossils in Brazil, uh, around about uh, 150, 160 million year old uh, deposits. They recognized the flowers, they recognized the cones, and they recognized also some of the pollen that is in, that, uh, in those deposits. Today, Velvichia is found only in the Namib Desert. The Brazilian fossils, however, are evidence of the plant's primordial existence first growing in a time prior to the existence of the Atlantic Ocean. South America and Africa were once connected in a vast continental area known as Gondwanaland. Around 130 million years ago, the gigantic landmass gradually broke up to form the Atlantic Ocean, separating populations of plants and animals. Here in Namibia, in this now extinct supervolcano known as Mesum Crater, many large and thus presumably ancient specimens of Velvichia can be found. Lichens cling to this giant, which stands almost six feet tall. Notoriously difficult to date, no one truly knows the age of any Velvichia specimens. Although scientists have estimated that a plant this size could be over 2,000 years old. Clearly, the adaptations of this extraordinary plant species 
have served it well throughout the ages.